And as we've been mentioning, Milton is already bringing rough surf and gusty winds to hard hit areas of Florida before it even makes landfall. Earlier today, President Biden issued advice to anyone in Milton's path. I want to thank everyone who has followed local guidance to evacuate ahead of the landfall. I know it's really tough leaving behind your home, your belongings, everything you own. But I urge everyone in Hurricane Milton's path to follow all safety instructions as we head to the next 24 hours. Now, the president is scheduled to speak to the nation again around 530. In the meantime, 12 News reporter Hannah Cotter joins us now live in studio with some local concerns about the fate of Florida. Hannah? Well, Kim, Kayla, just several hours to go until Milton is expected to make landfall, but millions are already feeling the effects. This is what they've been dealing with today. Strong wind, heavy rain, and even tornadoes across some parts of the state. Hurricane Milton is barreling toward Florida's west coast. It's expected to make landfall late tonight as a Category 3 storm. Floridians are already feeling the effects of gusty winds and heavy rain, and several apparent tornadoes have also touched down in the state. More than a dozen Florida counties were under mandatory evacuation orders this morning, and while many have evacuated inland, north, or elsewhere, others are hunkering down. We are, are far above sea level, so that's a good thing. So this is not, has not been a mandatory evacuation area. Rhode Islander Wendy Curtis is visiting family in Bradenton, Florida, which is still reeling from the impacts of Hurricane Helene. They've been, they have like their equivalent of a snow cloud down there just trying to get the sand off the roads. It's absolutely crazy uh, how hard they got hit then. And now, this is just devastating. Wendy used to work here at 12 News as a photojournalist and editor. And I've been in the business for 40 years now, and I've seen a lot in my day. This is serious business. And a friend of mine actually just evacuated inland while another friend told me she's going to try to ride out the storm in Tampa. We'll have more local reaction coming up at 530. In the studio, Hannah Cotter, 12 News.